Hello, it's Mark with Mark's Astro Journey. I'm here to talk to you about Celestron's Power Seeker EQ 127 Reflector Telescope. This is the first telescope I bought, and I'll just go ahead right away up front and admit, when I bought this telescope, I didn't do enough research. I did look at some reviews online and read some of those, and also read the marketing and specification the details about the telescope but I was new to the hobby I didn't really have that much background knowledge and I should have got better educated so after owning the telescope there are a number of things I learned that caused me to come to the conclusion I made a mistake I shouldn't have bought this telescope I should have done more research I'm going to share 10 of those reasons with you and I created a series of brief videos sharing each of those reasons if you enjoy this video, you might want to look at some of the other reasons that I share about why you should reconsider purchasing this telescope. So let's get started. And you'll notice if, if you take a look at this tripod that it's not really the sturdiest tripod. It's okay, but it's very easy this tripod is it's very easy it's it's a little bit on the flimsy side and it doesn't give much stability to your telescope and when you're trying to use a telescope stability is important and especially if you're getting into this in the beginning for visual astronomy you want a telescope that's not going to wiggle around because any movement is going to you know the shaking of the telescope again you're not going to be able to enjoy the experience of looking at a planet, the moon, or whatever that target is that you're looking to see. So the stability of the mount is also of a concern to me, and I found it to be uh, inhibitive to be able to enjoy using the telescope even for visual astronomy. Well, I hope you found hearing my experience with this telescope helpful. And as I mentioned in the beginning, I created a series of these videos just to keep them brief, you could look at the ones that you're interested in where I talk about the different reasons that I really wouldn't recommend this telescope. You might want to check out some of the others and they're in the description of this video. If you enjoy videos of this type dealing with astronomy and astrophotography, I also encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Leave any comments you have after you watch the video. I always enjoy hearing the viewers' feedback and I'm wishing you clear skies.